G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here and this week we're talking about the all-important topic of physical activity. Now physical activity of course is not just important for physical health but it's also really important for helping learning and of course our mental health as well. Now there is some evidence out there that physical activity is lower in uh, children on the autism spectrum but we're really just starting to grapple with that issue. Now the study we've linked to this week involved 176 kids, half of whom were on the autism spectrum and they were tracked from about age uh, seven, uh, all the way through past puberty into the adolescent years. Now what they actually found is that there was a marked drop off uh, between the ages of about nine and 13 in the levels of physical activity in the kids on the spectrum compared to uh, neurotypical uh, uh, young children. Now um, the, the, the really important stat here is that uh, around that period uh, uh, children, uh, neurotypical children were engaging in about nine days of moderate to vigorous exercise uh, per month and that compared to only about one to two days of moderate to vigorous uh, activity per month in, in the kids on the spectrum. So this is a really important study because it tells us when um, we should start targeting our physical activity interventions. It's so important that we keep our kids physically active so we can help them learn, help their physical health and help buoy their mental health.